Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's the second day of Little House Week, and I thought I would talk about how the Little House on the Prairie, you know, TV show would progress and would affect the show if Laura died, which... And again, this is a what if. The character doesn't actually die in the TV show. But the character does die in real life because she's based off a of real life character. So... If Laura was to die in the TV show, now Laura actually does not come close to death in any scenes or episodes, I guess. But if she were to suddenly die, I guess, well, I guess her only like close to death moment was in the season five episode Mortal Mission with the anthrax outbreak in Walnut Grove. If Charles and Jonathan hadn't gotten there in time, she could have died from that. So, at, so if she did die that moment in season five, um, the people that would be affected would be her family at that point, and her friends. So, well, now Ma and Pa, they would, um, her whole family would probably feel the same way. You know, upset that they lost a sister and a daughter. And so that would mean certain things for people, so, and because she was the closest with Mary, of all the siblings, Mary would probably be the most affected, but also Albert would as well, because even though Albert only know, knew Laura for the, those few episodes in season five up to that point, he would still, eh, He'd be upset because she's pretty much his sister at that point. I don't think he's adopted officially at that point, but yeah. And Carrie, who is like, I don't know, seven or eight, has seen the beginning of season five. Her and Laura argue all the time. Well, not all the time, most of the time. So, um, Kay probably be a, a little upset, but then kind of also glad, just because she doesn't argue with her sister anymore, but upset because her sister's gone. Um, and Grace is a baby, so uh, she frankly would never know her sister and have no idea who she was. And Mom would probably be affected the same way like they were when they lost Charles Jr. And of course, the stuff that happened in season six and Mary and Mom's own stuff would never happen in those seasons because the show would probably end. Now, of course, if you die in a later season, then that stuff would happen and Almanzo would be affected in the way that he lost his wife, so again, he'd be upset. And now he has no one to live with because Eliza Jane moved away. And he can't cook, so that would be pretty funny, but sad. Um, and of course, Nellie. Uh, Nellie would probably be happy, but actually very sad. And kind of that snot loud thing in my video if Hiccup died, he would act like he doesn't care and toughen up but then really be hurting on the inside. Um, because Laura and Nellie, them, they end up being, eh, pretty good friends at times. And other times they're mortal enemies. So, again, this could go two ways. Nellie could be very glad that Laura's gone, or very upset that her mortal enemy and number one person to pick on is no longer there. And, of course, at the season five point, she probably would be. Now, if Laura did die in a later season, like seven or eight, and now it would probably be a little... would be more on the sad side that Laura's gone. Of course, she thought Laura to die in season nine. Now, we would probably hear about it, so that wouldn't really matter. So, pretty much, if Laura died, um, now of course with these kind of main characters, most of the things happen with the fact that the show ends, because it's the main character and everyone seems to like the main characters, so if 
main characters kill people, stop watching, and shows end. But if they do a good job of focusing on other characters, then it plays out. So, I'm not saying that if Laura died, the show would end. It did end, but if Laura had died, it wouldn't... I'm not saying it would have ended a lot sooner. But... I mean, it might have, it could have ended a lot sooner if they decided to kill her off, but if they did a good job of still focusing it on the Ingalls family while Laura not being the main approach, then it could still be good, but they'd have to introduce different plot lines. So Laura would never introduce Almanzo, or never marry Almanzo, or never have Grace, the panel when she died, or that would be a main part of the series. Of course, because Little House on the Prairie is based off of a real life person, but some stuff that ha actually most of the stuff that happened in the TV show never really happened in the book. I'm not sure if they would. They would. I'm not sure if Laura's character would have been killed off if during that process. But if she had, um, the characters would be deeply affected, and the whole Little House TV show as a whole. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow where I talk about my top 10 episodes of Little House on the Prairie. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below on how you think the Little House on the Prairie TV show would have been affected if Laura had died. And you can go as deep as you want, give me a paragraph, I don't care, I'll read it. Maybe. Alright, see you.